We face extraordinary challenges in the 21st century. Nine and a half billion people alive in 2050. We don't know how we will provide them clean water, sustainable energy, education. There are serious problems with the environment. There are serious problems with bigotry. Uh, there are serious problems with poverty and starvation. And so far, we've been unsuccessful in figuring out a way to fix them. I'm hoping that AI can adjust the various factors in a way that maybe can solve these problems. The real opportunity for AI is how we can actually help the 7 billion people that could benefit from these technologies in a practical way. While we can't say AI is, is general magic, it is giving us core tools to start putting in place systems that we know will help with key issues like hunger, famine, epidemics, overall health and well-being. AI offers an extraordinary possibility of accelerating solutions in the time we have to solve the problems. We are now applying artificial intelligence to the art of farming, a very old industry also adopting the latest in technology. So through artificial intelligence, a farmer can now integrate massive sources of data, whether it's data from the combines, it's weathered satellite data, it's um, data from the fields, taking all that data together and through an artificial intelligence solution actually making recommendations to the farmer on how he can increase um, the production of his land. AI has enormous capacity and potential to solve problems that require an enormous amount of computing and pattern recognition that human beings struggle with. The way drugs are going to be designed in the future, and again, already starting to be, is by having models of the molecules and, and how they interact, for example, with, say, you know, the virus proteins, and, and then doing a search to find the best drug for the best problem. I think this, for example, how are we going to cure cancer? By 2020, you should be able to walk into your doctor's office. Your doctor should be able to sequence your entire genome, take that along with your medical imaging data, compare that with the world's data of, of genome sequences and medical imaging data, from that, determine the matches between your tumor and others, what the treatments were in those other cases, and the outcome, did the patient survive or not, and from that, devise for you your personalized treatment, and do that entire process in just one day. It's completely possible through artificial intelligence. The UN Summit and its goals excite me, in particular with the idea of leveraging what I would call sleeping giants of data. We have accumulated so much data in the world, and with some refinement and some tagging, this data can become available and leveraged to address famine, to address human trafficking, to address vicious cycles of economic poverty. If you make progress in AI, you make progress in all these different fields at the same time. Right? So better machine learning algorithm, if I invent it tomorrow, it'll make for better medical diagnosis, it'll make for better self-driving cars, and who knows what else. AI is potentially the most powerful technology that we've ever created, and it's going to create the next form of civilization. It's not happening in 10 years or 15 years. It's happening right now. We are inherently explorers. We are inherently inventors. We are inherently discoverers. People have to keep that flame burning. Making the world a better place is a primal human instinct. Social change is a team sport. We're entering a day and age where literally almost anything can be made possible. That's what XPRIZE does. We set very audacious but achievable goals. We leverage them with a million or ten million dollars and then we go to the world and say, I don't care who you are, where you've gone to school, what you've done before, the first person to make that happen wins. You help bring about a breakthrough, and we all win. And typically, some of the best solutions come from people you wouldn't expect. If you can find the right questions to ask, there are millions of people out there who are anxious to provide answers. And that's really the, the, the power of the X Prize. It serves as a magnet to draw the innovators around the world to attack problems they might not otherwise have focused on. It can draw awareness and attention to areas that may not yet be profitable, but may ultimately be life-changing for millions and millions of people around the planet. What's better than that? Get solutions out there where government does not seem to be able to get its act together. 
First, you have to come to some consensus around what are the biggest, baddest challenges out there right now? What's the market failure there? What's not happening that could happen? You have to look uh, at the set of problems and decide where those fulcrum points are and what, what prizes could cause massive change down the road. Here at the XPRIZE Foundation, we talk about the ability of an individual or a small team to take on moonshots. I think that AI partnered with humans can become the combination that allows us to solve those moonshots. Artificial intelligence is going to revolutionize everything. AI offers an extraordinary possibility of accelerating solutions in the time we have to solve the problems. We're using artificial intelligence now in virtually every area. AI is potentially the most powerful technology that we've ever created and it's going to create the it's going to create the next form of civilization. And it's already having a big impact. I don't care what the challenge is, the climate crisis, cancer, enough water and energy for 8 billion people on planet Earth. I would rather go and solve those problems with artificial intelligence as my lab partner than doing it without. This is the future we're creating right here, right now. The X Prize is about fundamentally enabling something to happen that most people said can't be done. Ultimately, it's a matter of what are the grand challenges and how do we match that up with philanthropists and corporations to inspire, you know, smart young teams to take huge moonshots. If you can imagine it, you can do it. Take those limitations off and just put your thinking hat on. We are about to go into warp drive.